Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. According to the International Maritime Bureau, nearly $16 billion a year is lost to theft, ransoms, transport delays, and other factors relating to piracy. Though we tend to think of pirates as a problem from several hundred years ago, modern pirates continue to attack shipping lanes, transport vessels, and cargo ships to pillage, kidnap, and plunder. These modern pirates have gotten so bold, they will even attempt to engage the naval ships and fire upon military helicopters. In order to protect themselves, container ships and other freighters have developed a series of ingenious defense tactics, and unlike the military solutions. Most of these are decidedly non-lethal. Currently, the main method of deterring pirates is to use water cannons. These high-pressure hoses are capable of putting out up to 1,350 gallons of seawater per minute. Developed by a world-renowned firefighting company, these unifier cannons fire at pressures as high as 175 psi. This is enough to knock grown men into the ocean and even blow boats off course. The nozzles themselves are made of acid-proof, marine-grade stainless steel and can be remotely controlled from the bridge or set to function automatically. This is important as modern pirates often use guns to fire on ships, which could injure or kill someone if they were left manning the cannons on deck. The range of these hoses is extremely impressive, giving a ship's crew a chance to drive pirates off before they get close enough to threaten the vessel. There are many different types of hoses and approaches to using them. And while many doubt their effectiveness, tests actually show this to be a viable maritime security option. Rather than merely shooting water at the people on the boats, the hoses can also be used to try and fill the boats and make them much harder to maneuver. Ultimately, the pressure of the hose itself is generally enough to keep a boat pilot from staying on course, as it forces them to focus on shielding their eyes rather than driving toward their target. In other cases, maritime security experts feel trapping the pirates in some way might be more effective than simply trying to deter them. This led to the development of the P-Trap, a passive, non-lethal mechanism designed to keep pirates from getting too close to the vessel. It consists of two heavily constructed booms on either side of the ship. These drag a series of heavily constructed lines behind them. If a boat approaches the lines, 
the propeller will become fouled, stalling the engine and forcing the pirates to waste time clearing their propeller. Due to the sheer importance of shipping to the global economy, maritime security has evolved into a multi-billion dollar business. Crews will train to deploy various protective methods. Planning is an important part of this process. These men and women are essentially the SWAT teams of the seas and have a responsibility to protect their ship, cargo, and crew at all costs. Pirates are far from the only threat commercial vessels can face. Bad weather and bad decisions can put a ship of any size in severe danger. When this happens to a large boat with many people on board, the most common solution is to abandon ship. This consists of having the crew and any passengers evacuated via lifeboats. Okay. That raft is still connected and has to be concerned, but uh, unless he comes up his radio. Most modern lifeboats are quite different from those used in the past. Often fully self-contained and motorized, these boats are not just capable of taking people away from danger, but also transporting them to safety. Another thing that has changed about modern lifeboats is the launching mechanism. Rather than slowly lowering into the water, many new designs launch from ramps into the water. This dramatically speeds up the process of evacuation, and since the boat itself is sealed from top to bottom, the risks of a launching incident are very low. Some innovative companies are working on technology that can not only keep lifeboats from sinking, but keep small and medium-sized vessels from going down in the first place. Rafnar Maritime, located in Iceland, recently introduced a line of self-riding boats. These unique designs are all based on the power of buoyancy. Using state-of-the-art engineering, Rafnar ensures that these boats will automatically right themselves, even if they are turned fully upside down in the water. Tests were conducted by placing a hoisting loop on the side and bottom of the boat and flipping it to either side. It's easy to note just how much the boat resists this moment. Then, upon being turned 90 degrees, the boat automatically begins to right itself. Clearly, this sort of technology would be incredibly helpful in several maritime situations. 
However, it has a long way to go before it can be applied to large vessels. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution, or RNLI, is the largest charity devoted to sea rescue in the United Kingdom. These lifeboats differ from the ones used to escape sinking ships and are more akin to those used by the United States Coast Guard. The RNLI has been utilizing its Shannon-class lifeboat since 2013. At 44 feet long and 14 feet wide, this vessel is specially designed to navigate the rough seas around the British Isles. Like the Rafnar Marine design, the Shannon class is a self-riding boat. In the event of a capsize, it will turn itself over so that it points downward again. This is possible for a number of reasons. All heavy parts of the ship are placed far down in the hull. Once the door is sealed, it will remain full of air. Thus, it will always seek to be the highest point. The Shannon also has a pendulum system that closes air valves as the ship turns upside down, which keeps seawater from infiltrating the systems. In recent years, Life-saving technology has expanded into the use of robotics. A great example is the Marine Guardian, a prototype unmanned surface vessel, or USV. Powered by Marine Tensor's AI control system, it uses water to propel itself around obstacles and through waves. There's even a sonar array to help improve the USV's efficiency and navigation. Once the rescue target is retrieved, the USV can slowly and safely take them back to shore. Another example of robotics being applied to maritime search and rescue is the M75 Autonomous Surveillance and Rescue Vessel. This 15-foot-long vessel uses a series of powerful detection systems to retrieve injured individuals from boat crashes. The M75 has an electable life raft that can carry up to six people to safety. Once deployed, the boat can wait near a disabled ship until the crew gets a chance to evacuate. And since there is nobody actually on board the M75, no rescue personnel are put at risk. Though this technology has a long way to go, it may not be long before boating becomes safer and more secure than ever before. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.